Sasha for netbooknews.com with the new Asus ePad Transformer. But right now, I would like to introduce you to, in my opinion, the best Android Honeycomb uh, games that are available on the marketplace and on the Tegra Zone. The Tegra Zone is a little app marketplace for NVIDIA Tegra 2 optimized games. So what I've been downloading is a Great Battles. Um, this is a kind of, kind of reminds me of uh, Age of Empires but with all this economy and building up economies and resources and whatever bullshit. This immediately dives into uh, the real thing which is the battle. So you can see there's already a unit over here from me that is going to attack some enemies. We have a little overview map over here, and um, mine are, oh, I mean, uh, kind of commanding the army that just uh, lost its general, which means that I pretty much lost the game. Anyways, that's a tutorial that I'm playing right now. Pretty decent graphic, it's 1280 by 800, but when I'm taking a look at the amounts of polygons they're using, I think there is still some room for improvement. That game costs right now 699. Let's go back to uh, the overview of this game so that you can see this map here. So that's obviously it looks like Europe, that's France over here. And here as soon as you're going to a different city or to a different place on the map it comes up with a little video and it tells you a little bit about the history of all these huge battles that were happening in Europe in the medieval. So kind of interesting game if when you're into these huge battle things uh, with this medieval history background that's definitely something that you should take Another a Another cool at. game is Samurai 2 Vengeance which is uh, a kind of Japanese jump and one beat em up manga mix up or uh, whatever thingy. Okay, let's skip this tutorial. I hope I can uh, I can handle this. So at the beginning of each chapter, it comes up with a nice little comic strip that tells you a little bit about the history and about the storyline of this new chapter. I think that looks really cool. Actually we did an interview with the developer of this application of this game during CES and you might want to search for this on our YouTube channel. But let's dive into the game and let's take a look at the graphics. So here we go. That looks decent doesn't it? And uh, that's what it's all about. Let's kill some evil samurais, ninjas and uh, what not. Can I do... Oh, here's a special move. I can just jump around. So when you're into beat-em-up games and if you really like some comic strip graphics and uh, when you're into bloody games, obviously, hey, take a look at Samurai 2 Vengeance. I just love this game and I think the atmosphere with these manga comics, well, not only because I live in Asia, but I'm, I'm just completely into it and uh, it's great graphics, it looks cool when you're hooking up your tablet over HDMI to a huge TV set, you know what, uh, that is almost like a, like a console quality. That Samurai Vengeance, um, how much does it cost? Let's take a quick look at it. It's $4.76. Highly recommend it. The next action game I want to show you is Gorilla Bob THD that you can buy for $3.99 on the Android Marketplace. It's also, you know, for all these guys. like to shoot them all up. It looks a little bit like, uh, I don't know, Navy SEALs are heading over to Pakistan to search for Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> so, uh, great graphics, good fun, and uh, it's all about killing, destroying things with different weapons, and it definitely shows you a little bit about the performance of the Tagra 2 platform. 
I had Gorilla Bob THD 399 on the Android Marketplace. Heroes of Sparta, another cool, yeah, beat em up game with fantastic graphic, or with fantastic graphics. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go kill some Spartan enemies. This is Sparta. Pretty decent, isn't it? Okay, let's skip that. Yay! Woohoo! Oh! Here we go. Available on the Android Marketplace for Tegra 2 device. Actually, it was pre installed on the Ace Iconia tab. It's from Gameloft, so sorry, can't tell you anything about the price. Check it out. <laughs> so this is a nice comic style, uh, beat em up, jump and run, whatever. Kill all the zombies that you can get. Uh, let's just start over here. Zombies are invading your hometown and of course... <laughs> You have to fight them back. Here we go, let's start with the very first chapter. We just have to run around. And, uh, okay, forget about the intro. That's Zack's house, you are Zack. And our, these zombies are trying to enter your house. Now, uh, let's find, find a weapon. Okay, here we go. I better find a weapon. Yes. Uh, that's the weapon we want to get here. Oops. Grab it! Finally. Okay. Here we go. And now the zombies are coming in. And that's where the fun begins. Let's uh, kick some zombie asses. Zombies? My parents are gonna kill me. Totally. Vengeance! Yeehaw! Oh, that's that's a fun part here. <laughs> So yeah, pretty neat game that also comes with a multiplayer or co-op mode if you want to play it with some more players and uh, if you need some support to get rid of the zombies. $7.99 on the Android Marketplace, Monster Madness. Dungeon Defender is another free game that you can get on the Android Market. Uh, optimized again for NVIDIA Tegra 2. Actually, this is also a game that you can run on your x86 desktop PC or notebook, on a PlayStation 3, on a phone, and you guys can all join on the same online server because that's a multiplayer online game. And um, let's start it over here. Well, I'm playing the local version right now, but you can be sure it looks the same, obviously, when you're connecting to an online server. So here we go. You are in these little dungeons over here, and that's your little character, and all you have to do is just battling other creatures. You can find treasures, there you go, there are items, collect in the box, that's actually the tutorial, but I think you're getting it, how it will look like. There's an item shop, so pretty cool graphic again. Nice little game when you're into uh, massive multiplayer online games. 
and uh, you want to play some long tutorials, which I don't, uh, take a look at Dungeon Defender on the Android Marketplace, also on the NVIDIA Tegra Zone. It's free. Craig 3 for a tablet. Craig 3 for Android. Um, I'm playing a local version right now. I think it's called Craig 3 Droid. You can find it on the Android Marketplace. It was free. I'm not sure if this is very legal over here because I've, it's been downloading a couple of uh, additional packages. But uh, if you want to play a shoot 'em up here. Oh, here's someone. Gosh, I'm quick. Where are you? Anyways, it just tells you or shows you uh, a little bit about the performance of the NVIDIA Tegra 2 platform. Uh, I'm not a big f a fan of this. I need a mouse, I need a keyboard to play a shooter like this. Uh, but anyways, it works. Craig 3 for the Asus e -Pet Transformer or any other honeycomb tablet. Vendetta Online is a brand new massive multiplayer online game. Uh, so here we go. There you can see a little demo of how the graphic will look like. And just fly around. Over here you have the steering. There you go. And then you can shoot other ships. Very decent graphics, cool 3D animations, and uh, obviously a commander of a ship means me that has no clue how to navigate through the space. Oh, that's a pretty decent explosion. Vendetta Online, it's free and available on the Android Marketplace for Tekra 2 devices. Okay, for all the sports fans, especially American football fans, Backbreaker THD is the application to get. $4.99 on the Android Marketplace, and I think that was pretty much the very first game showing us the performance of the NVIDIA Tegra 2 platform. So this is from Natural Motion Games, and uh, yeah, that's, that's a really fun application that I would like to show you as soon as it started here. Oh my god, I don't, I hate this load time. Uh, let's get into here it immediately and I'm going to show you what it's all about. So basically it's uh, just about uh, scoring a goal. Oh, well, that was just a great example of uh, a German guy trying to show you how to play American football. That's epic fail, of course. Um, let's just do it again. Here we go. Now we're talking. Yeah, I'm not only into soccer guys. Yay! And now... Touchdown! There you go. Of course it's getting harder all the time and uh, there, there, there are more uh, defenders on the field, so yeah, fun game, definitely, and uh, that's $4.99, it's definitely a recommendation, even though, you know what, I think the graphics or the resolution looks a little bit low to me, that's a 1280 by 800 display, but anyways, Daybreaker THD, pretty cool game, one year into American sports, and especially into American football. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, forget about this. <laughs> Need for Speed Shift, Electronic Arts classic racing game. That's the stuff I love. 
This also came pre-installed with the Ace Iconia tab. So I can't tell you anything about the price, but as you can see, it looks cool, has some great graphics, and uh, a bad driver. Need for speed, shift. Yay, let's golf for a honeycomb. And uh, let's just create a new little golfer and uh, do the instant play. Here we go. Same quality as the version on the iPad. We don't want to play the tutorial. Uh, we're very confident to be a pro computer golfer. Let's see how good that is. Mm, not too bad. Oh, almost a chance for a birdie. Okay, let's see. Oops. Okay, and now... Let's... Come on, I can do it. Ugh. That's the one. Oh, no. That's Let's Golf. You're into golf simulations? Oh. That's a pretty fun game. Really fun game. Only it's all about a chalkboard. And uh, here's this little ball. And you can just write on this chalkboard. And you need to oh, make sure that this is not falling down. Wow. That's not the way you have to do it. Uh, let's, let's try it again. Here we go. I tell you what, this is very addictive. I think it was like $3 on the Android Marketplace. And uh, unfortunately, it's not supporting this kind of landscape mode. So if I'm trying to turn it around, it's just not switching over and it's not recognizing the accelerometer. Besides that, fantastic game, it's good fun. Chalkball. Now it's getting addictive. Fruit Ninja THD. THD always means this is optimized for Tegra and for tablets. Uh, super simple game. And uh, you will see what this is all about. You have to slice fruits in half. That's about it. Looks easy, but I tell you what. It's getting hard after a while, and it's super addictive. Um, maybe you shouldn't do that. So that's like game over. Two ninety nine on the Android Marketplace, uh, Fruit Ninja. It's lots of fun. So finally, I think we proved those guys wrong, saying there are no decent games for for Android tablets. There are lots of games available, really cool ones available, and there are more to come. When you're taking a look at the uh, NVIDIA Tegra Zone, you see that in May there are a couple of new games showing up. A pinball uh, Riptide JP, which is a kind of water scooter racing game. So, uh, lots of new stuff showing up on the Android Marketplace in the Tegra Zone, optimized for Honeycomb, optimized for tablets, and optimized for NVIDIA Tegra 2. This is Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.